through this process, through the process that I've been through for 27 years, I've grown into love. Mm -hmm. I've grown into love. And the part of me that is innately a mother is a mother. Right. But I find myself every once in a while with her still feeling like that 16-year-old. Like if she gets too close, I'll, I'll start sh almost shaking and get scared. If your I, daughter gets too close? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll recognize it. I'll say, oh, this is some old stuff, but it's there. Yes, your mother kept a distance from you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you didn't know how to actually mother your own daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have that energy going on, and there's probably a little level of guilt in there mm -hmm. that when you see your own daughter. There is. So you're gonna have to look at that guilt and know that it's coming from the ego, it's not coming from your spirit. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have to become more aware that everybody's on their path. Right. And that your daughter has received some very valuable gifts based on what you could or could not do in that moment. Right. Just as you've received some very valuable gifts based on your mother's lack in giving love, right? right. There's some things that you have within you. Absolutely. That if she had been anywhere different. I wouldn't be Esther. Absolutely. Right. So you're gonna have to do some more forgiveness work around the guilt. We're headed to Austin's Camp Sunshine an organization that helps provide kids with tools they need to face challenges they come across in their day-to-day -day lives. Something Vince remembers all too well from his own childhood. My purpose is, is this kids, our next generation, making sure they can live their dream, the dream that I'm living. And that's the key of pushing that message. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.